an Klaus Rudischhauser. I'm um, Deputy Director General in uh, uh, Director General Europe Aid at the European Commission. I do cover all the thematic uh, areas of development policy. It's clear that development money, official development assistance in the old sense of the word, word will become less and less important and therefore uh, it is clear that over the next few years there will be a discussion about where does the money come from for uh, uh, these development issues. And if I, if I can just give you a, um, a, a, a short example, there will still be development money, but there, is, there are remittances, there is um, foreign direct investment, there is trade, there is domestic resource mobilization, and all this together contributes to the overall financing of development and sustainability. And um, in order to put all these uh, different contributors into perspective, we will produce a policy document um, uh, still before the summer, which will try to, to show what can be the relative contribution and the relative um, importance of the various sources of financing, which we will need to look at. So it basically means putting development assistance, which will still be a very important part, into perspective by putting it into the wider framework of other sources of financing. It's not so much a question of, be, of less money being available, uh, because obviously you never have as much money as you want, but you will want to concentrate your money on those countries which are most in need. We can help these countries in reducing that poverty by helping them to develop social protection schemes of making growth more inclusive. That's, that's something where we can provide good advice, where we can cooperate and where we can use in a very positive and very useful way uh, the money that we, we are still quite willing to set aside for these countries. Well, you see, um, we have been engaged for a very long time in, in policy uh, for development and in cooperation with developing countries. And uh, the fact is very uh, simple, but also very positive. Many of our partner countries have developed, are now upper middle income countries. And therefore we have to think about the way how to work with them. Because if you are an upper middle income country, your, your own revenues, your own budget, is starting to become the main source for whatever is happening uh, in, in the country and in the society. And development assistance is becoming a very small share. And that means that you have to rethink what, how you use your development money in such a country. Um, and it can no longer be money that uh, actually replaces government action. It can only be seed money to drive processes, to, to promote reforms, to help the country, to assist the country in implementing reforms. It can no longer be money that is destined for poverty reduction simply because the volumes are not there and the country has the resources to do this.